so it was written in the book of job chapter 1 verse 14 that a messenger came unto job to tell him all the evil that has before job and said the oxen were plowing and the ashes feeding beside them the oxen were plowing there is a place of plowing in this kingdom there is a place of plowing hallelujah so there is a spiritual plowing going on in the realm of the spirit we need to be plowed so the plowing will break the fallow ground the plowing will soften the ardent ground so you need the power to break your ground you need the power to soften your ground and your ground is your mind you've received salvation good salvation is spiritual your spirit is safe but your mind and your body are not still safe you need to transform your mind and consecrate your body unto the Lord you separate your body unto the Lord and present your body a living sacrifice only and acceptable unto the Lord which is your reasonable service So after salvation, the plowing still continue. In the realm of the spirit, your mind needs to be transformed. So the power of transformation is in the word of God. This power of transformation will change your mind. So there is a compass that can change the direction of your mind through the process of spiritual plowing. You need the process of spiritual plowing to survive in this earthly realm. You cannot cope in the kingdom of your father with a ardent heart. So God will break you. God will break you before God can mold you. <laughs> God will break you within and without before God can use you. So there is a process of breaking the ground. So the Almighty God, by His divine power and in accordance with His divine nature, will break you and use you to manifest his glory and his power on it. If you are still hard, you cannot carry the virtues of God. A hard grant cannot, ca, ca, cannot permit agriculture, can, ca, cannot, oh my God, legado shigalabala guatabara. So you have to break the ground because before the seed can grow on the ground you break the ground before the seed can grow so without breaking the ground there is no germination without breaking the ground there is no fertilization <laughs> without breaking the ground there is no growth and development so you break the ground to permit growth and development. The farmer, the husband man will break the ground before sowing the seed. The seed cannot grow among the thorns. The seed cannot grow on the rock. The seed cannot grow on the stony ground. The seed cannot grow on the roadside. The seed can only grow on the fertile soil which has been plowed. It can only grow on the fertile soil, the soft soil. <laughs> so 
So if your mind is not soft, you cannot receive the revelation knowledge of God. So your mind must be softened to receive the revelation knowledge of God. The revelation knowledge is a spiritual radiation that can only pass through the softening part. These spiritual radiations cannot pass through the ardent art. It can only pass through the softened art. So you soften the mind by the principle of spiritual plowing. Hallelujah. The reason why many people are not growing in the kingdom of Christ is because their hearts are hard. You cannot grow with an ardent art. And your art controls all the activities in the physical realm. So it is the inner man that controls the activities of the outer man. So the plowing process will work on the inner man. By the instrumentality of the word of God, through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of revelation knowledge. So the spirit will allow the word to penetrate your inner man and change your inner man so that you can produce fruit of the spirit and not only manifest the gifts of the spirit. The process of plowing will allow you to grow into the realm of spiritual maturity. There are some levels of power that you cannot carry unless you grow in the kingdom of your father. So the plowing process will allow you to grow into the realm of spiritual maturity so that you can carry the power of the fathers. The babes cannot carry the power of the fathers. Not that the almighty God cannot give the power of the fathers to the babes. But the power of the fathers is too much for the babes. So babes cannot carry the power of the fathers. It is like men carrying mountains. Have you ever encountered a man carrying a mountain before? It is impossible for a man to carry a mountain. <laughs> Only a mountain can carry a mountain. So I've watched documentaries where mountains are carrying mountains. You see a mountain sitting on another mountain. So if you are not a stone, you cannot carry a stone. So you must belong to the same family before you can carry one another. So if you are not a father, you cannot carry the power of the fathers. You need the plowing process to carry the power of the fathers in the kingdom of Christ. Hallelujah. 